that's the thumbnail right there what's good youtube so you know i work out with my gym partner on monday wednesdays and fridays because he works overnight he works 12 hour shifts from seven to seven so it's understandable that he can't go to the gym every morning at eight o'clock and work out so three days a week we train together and on those other two days i kind of do my own thing and i try to keep it cardio basis i am trying to cut weight and typically i box uh but today i'm feeling a little bit adventurous so i think i'm gonna go climb pinnacle mountain All right, so I'm out here at the mountain, at the entrance. I'm on the west summit, on my way up to the upper room. Last time I was here was not a good thing. I was here with my uh, boy Q. It was his going away climb, and they about killed me. So hopefully I fare better this time. See that, I've always wondered when I saw these, these natural step formations, or is this something that was man-made over time or what? It's like a perfect trail up the mountain for me. And as you can hear, I'm already slightly out of breath. All right, so we're getting pretty high up. Um, it's getting pretty windy too. It's a beautiful breeze, beautiful scenery. I mean, if it wasn't for my terrible fear of spiders, I'll come out here a lot more. It's great cardio. And I mean, look at that, wonderful. That's the thumbnail right there. That there through there, people. Yep, that right there is the service road. It runs all the way back down the mountain. I can't really give you a clear shot because of all these trees, but if you're coming up or down that road, it means you probably messed up and somebody had to come get you. We're getting up there. Let's keep going. We're nine minutes in. Let's go. One of the few truly great things about Arkansas is the nature and the view. Look at that. This right here is super skittish. That is crazy. One false move, and that's it for me. I think I need to put this down now because I need to use my hands. But almost there. Let's go. All right, guys, so I made it to the top. As you can see, it's well worth all the pain and ache to put my calf muscles through. Check out these cameras. The sun in my head because there are so many things that I left unsaid. I took my microphone off because it's so windy up here, but hopefully you can hear this audio fine, but I rested for a few minutes, then head back down. Found another spot a little further down. I'm kind of sitting down in the rocks. Got a little bit of a wall behind me. I thought it was going to shield a little bit of this wind, but I'm actually facing the wind now. But still have gorgeous views. You know, like if I was really into reading or something, I'd come up here on a day like this and read a book or something or draw. But I'm not into that. I'm in the video. So I came up here to video. Wonderful. Man. But it's only pretty because I don't come up here that much. If I came up here all the time, I think I'd become numb and dull to all this. This mountain real deal did a number on me. Look at my legs. Can y'all see that? I'm literally trembling when I stand still. It's crazy. Good workout, though. So I made it to the bottom, and I decided to reward myself with some rock bottom barbecue. What a way to ruin a great cardio session with some good old barbecue, but I couldn't turn it down. I had to check them out. Let's look at their menu. Got ribs, pulled pork, barbecue tater sounds very interesting. Should have tried that barbecue tater. I like it, but I hope the food's really good. We'll see it here in a second. All right, let's see what we got in the box. Some ribs, baked beans, tater salad, and a pepper. 
All right, so done with the mountain. It was great cardio. It was some beautiful views, but now look at me. I'm in a jacket. Only in Arkansas can it go from being cloudy and windy in the morning with a warm, gentle breeze to chilly but sunny with a clear sky in the same day. Welcome to Arkansas. But I'm out here with my man, about to get some punting practice in, and I need to go home and clean myself up because I'm super sweaty. I'm sick of my face looking like this. Something's got to give. Ball. I'm spinning to you, get it in position, hand, hand out, just drop it. Hand like you about to punt, like you about to, boom! If you don't put your hand out when you about to punt, don't put your hand out. Yeah, I usually hold both hands when I well, drop Well, that's it. fine, that's fine. Well, you can hold both hands and just drop it. Just catch it, both hands, drop it, all right? So as y'all can see, I end up sweating more than he does when we're doing this punt training. Cause I'm the one out there trying to shag the balls. But I don't know if y'all noticed, something's wrong with my return skills. Couldn't catch none to save my life. Man, even when he was sending something straight to me, it was just whew, falling straight through. But sorry, right, we got a little bit more to go. Uh, I shouldn't have to sweat anymore though. The rest should be up to him. Idea. So I'm gonna try to record him head on for a super slow mo. Hopefully, he doesn't kick me right in the face or drill me in the face with that ball. Pray for me and my teeth. Right, guys so that was Alden uh, he plays semi-pro football he's the punter for a team the uh, Hawks I think that the Cabot Hawks I think that's their name they used to be one team name then they consolidated with another team and took a name so I'm not sure what their name is but um you know I really like Alden one because he's a hard-working guy um, he has autism but I mean like you can't really tell but it, it, it's, it's it's his work ethic the guy joined the team trying to be a receiver or a defensive back. And then that didn't work out for him. And then they tried to move him to linebacker and safety. And I guess that didn't work out for him either. So they were just trying to find a spot for him. So for the first couple of games, my man was taking his truck, driving the games five, six, seven hours away, just to sit on the sideline, going to every practice when other people weren't showing up. And they were getting to play over him. And he was getting frustrated, but he stuck with it. And then they decided, hey, let's try him at punter because our kicker sucks. So he put him at punter. He punted in high school, and he's doing really good. He's won special teams play of the game. Um, he's number one punter in their uh, conference. So he may have found his calling, but the thing is, he stuck through it. Anybody else would have quit already. They'd be like, nah, man, you're not playing me, and I'm paying. I quit. And then, let alone if they tried to make you the punter, nah, most people ain't sticking around for that. But he stuck around, and he embraced it, and now he loves it. So I'm going to do everything I can to make him the best punter slash field goal kicker he can be. We need more Aldens in 